Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. I think we are due for uh, just your standard Isaac run. I did the Isaac run, I did the Universal Items Pool run, and then I did our random Samson run last time, which was like one of the scariest, but also most satisfying, luckiest, but also unluckiest runs I've ever had. It was a good time, all things considered. I would encourage you to go watch that. Statistically speaking, you're probably better served watching the last episode than watching this one. It's, it's unlikely this one is going to top it. Although, now that I've said it, uh, you know, fate loves to defy my expectations. So, hopefully that'll work out. In any case, always love a good Isaac run. Gives it the opportunity for some, an extra layer of strategic thought, if you will, that doesn't necessarily show up on your average, uh, or any, I guess your average run is an Isaac run, so on your run with any other character. For the most part, anyway, unless the D6 shows up randomly. Uh, I am just kind of making some idle conversation here, because I find myself in the laughably unenviable position of having to fight Envy on the very first floor, which doubtlessly ends up being laborious and takes forever and is just infuriating, but maybe, just maybe, we snag an attack fly. No, we did all that just to get a troll bomb, and open the door so we could leave. Fantastic. Uh, Isaac's fork is not the worst item that we could possibly get, or the worst trinket we could possibly get, but it is probably not worth using a bomb to get it. One second here, I've got some feline discipline dot porn dot com. That's, that's how, you know, triple X sites on the internet are denoted. Dot porn dot com. Anyway, um, oh, that was not good. Uh, I've got we got another kitten to, to keep Ruka company, but now Ruka seems to get real angry at it because it's taking some of his attention. We're doing our best to balance it, but seriously, dude, just being it's another cat. You don't need to freak out. What is it's like one eighth your size. Why are you so scared of it? You don't need to hiss. Just uh, I don't know, repurpose. That does, uh, it had to rhyme, but it wasn't very effective. All right, you know what? X-ray goggles is actually a very good uh, item to get on the very first floor. This allows us to go to every secret room, including second secret rooms, uh, which is fantastic because maybe we can snag some eternal hearts, at the very least, as you can see, we can get a little extra money here. May have also allowed us to not fight Envy, although I certainly would have done it anyway. Second secret room is indeed just directly above us, and just red hearts. That's a good room to get if you have an arcade available, but in any case, you know, it's not like we had any other rerolls available anyway, so we might as well just do it this way. And why not walk weirdly into the boss room, hopefully we won't get hit right away. Good. Uh, Duke of Flies. Very, always very tempted. If I had like five or six bombs, I would probably use one of the bombs to take out Duke of Flies and it would probably take out like 60 to 70% of his health instantly. But unfortunately, we're gonna have to do things the old fashioned way. And with Isaac's base damage, it's not a difficult fight, but it is completely plausible that, that I'll take a little bit of damage. It's primarily the flies and not even the your standard flies, it's the big ones uh, that take three or four hits each to kill. Otherwise, like, it's very hard for me to kind of pierce through his fly armor here and actually do some damage, but, uh, provided I just kind of keep my distance, I should be able to pull out of this one A-OK. -okay. Just a little bit more. One more hit, in fact, and a spirit heart. That's, you know, maybe okay, but not necessarily that valuable. Eternal heart would have been amazing. And an HP upgrade, so, all in all, a very standard first floor. But, what I will say is that, uh, the addition of the X-Ray Goggles actually does make a major difference. That you, that's probably good for like one or two HP upgrades over the course of a run, assuming I'm able to protect those Eternal Hearts or just pick them up at the end of the floor. So, you know, plus maybe one extra item by way of the regular secret room. We might as well go fight the boss right away because the deal with the Devil Room could be here in our rerolls lineup. And it's just Monstro, so we're actually very lucky. I never know how to feel if I don't fight uh, Famine on the first series of floors. I'm never sure if I'm like, wow, that's great that we don't fight Famine because I don't get cube of meat, or if I'm supposed to be like, wow, I really wish I fought Famine because he's easy and it's the easiest way to get like an orbital in the early game and orbitals are good for defense. I think I, I prefer to get like base items in the early game, like not, sorry, attribute items in the early game, just because you need a little bit of that like escape velocity. It's like making a rocket in Kerbal Space Pro Program or I suppose real life, you know? Like, 90% of the, the fuel is necessary to get you just off the launch pad, and then after that, you know, you let momentum sort of take care of itself. Clearly, I am not a rocket scientist. Um, I kind of feel the same way with respect to Isaac. Uh, I'm gonna take the mark, and then I may reroll Guppy's, Guppy's tail just in case it becomes something amazing. Maybe we won't uh, consciously try to become Guppy on this run. I don't think the parasite's work worth picking up, but I'm glad I got the mark regardless. It, I was gonna pick up the mark, no matter what, if that makes sense. Uh, 
Like, I, even if it was two, it was two hearts. Even though it was two hearts, uh, I was psyched to pick it up because I pick it up fairly rarely. So, this is our second secret room. Oh, man, this could be great or terrible. Um, it's, it's kind of neither. So, again, like I said, fate likes to, uh, you know, completely fuck up my expectations. Uh, the good thing about telepills is that I think we could get uh, the I am error room as a result of it. So, uh... That we can maybe get some extra items as a result of that. Uh, but the main benefit of this is probably going to be as a way to get me, like, out of a curse room, I think. It's a shame that there's no way for me to just, uh, like, bomb or walk my way into that item room. So, we won't be able to go to the shop on this floor, unfortunately. I think we have enough to get one more reroll. Um, well, I guess we'll see what this pill is. Please don't be awful. Hey, that's uh, absolutely no change whatsoever. Razor blade. Uh, razor blade's pretty bad. But we'll put that down, and presumably we should get one more reroll. At the very least, we've taken an item out of the pool that I don't want to see later. But, I don't know. Let's continue moving onwards here. No curse room, it seems. I can't believe I didn't take damage there. I can't believe I still have not taken damage. Uh, Mark hasn't improved my, my attributes as much as I would have hoped. I mean, it, it, it has a mathematical, like, objective, quantifiable, measurable effect. Uh, but I wish that it made me do as much damage as, damage as Mom's Knife plus Polyphemus. Alright, so we're fighting our, our second seven deadly sin of the fight, or of the, you know, run, which is pretty fucking nuts. Uh, I hope this guy maybe drops Mr. Mega. Mr. Mega is my favorite of the bomb items. There's like a, a top five list that doesn't need to be like formally codified into a video, but would be nice to see regardless, is like top five bomb type items. I don't know if the, there, there might only be like four. Ah, uh, so we get the bean, the beans. It, uh, the beans actually look pretty good, uh, but I don't need it, and I have the D6 instead. So let's maybe try to teleport to the shop. I'm pretty sure that's the end of this floor, so uh, we'll just go downwards. Unfortunately, the item room is worthless, but at least we picked up a key at the end to, you know, go to this item room right off the bat. And there's the shears! So we find ourselves in a very similar situation where, um, you know, we can't really do anything with this item. It's a shame that I went into the item room, because we could have just walked in via the secret room. Oh well, though. And that is another... Uh, oh, good! So we can just walk into the shop. So, I'm just going to take Mom's purse from the shop. That is a... Bombs are key pills. So for five cents, I could actually get three more keys. Which I think is a good deal. Alright, so I feel pretty okay about that now. So we bought Mom's purse. Um, what was my reasoning behind that? Well, there are better items in the shop, but it was Caves Part 1. And uh, that means we're not going to have a huge floor to generate rerolls from here. There we go. Uh, so I wanted to make sure I'm being a little bit more conservative with my rerolls. I absolutely want to reroll the shears. That, that should be obvious. Uh, now, of course, we're just going to get keys nonstop. I uh, absolutely want to reroll the shears because that is an active. Whereas Mom's Purse, you know, if we get Maggie's Faith or something like that, or any useful trinket, Maggie's Faith is just a, a good example, uh, it could end up being extremely beneficial for us. In any case, though. Oh, there's a mob trap room up here. How did I not notice that before? Well, a half red heart. So far, this has been a very comfortable run. That can change pretty quickly, though. All runs as Isaac start out pretty comfortably uh, as a result of the fact that your base health is pretty good. And we, we converted some of our extra health, or all of the extra health we've gotten so far, because we did start with two HP upgrades on the first two floors, which is amazing, actually. Um, we, uh, we converted some of that into extra stats, particularly damage, I think, by way of the mark. So that's cool, but, uh, you know, we're gonna need a little bit more of everything, I think, to, to make this run work for us. That being said, we're, we're on our way, I think. It would really help me if item rooms stopped being awful. And I mean, objectively, they are awful, because we can't do anything with them, thanks to having our D6. But the items we're getting in the item rooms are not terrible if you take them in a vacuum. But, you know, life doesn't exist in a vacuum. Uh, infestation is, is pretty okay sometimes. It, it depends on the situation. Um, it's an item that I would prefer to reroll because if it's mulligan, mulligan's great. You generate so many attack flies, but infestation, you only get flies when you get hit. So I, I find it a, a pretty poor substitute. Matchstick, there's one trinket. That's going to allow us to get more bombs. We can take it with us to the end of the game. Don't really want to, but we could. We totally could if, if we... Saw fit, and you know, there are situations where the matchstick can be pretty valuable, I think. Please don't, you know, completely make me feel like an idiot by telling me that the matchstick is one of those trinkets where people have confirmed that it just doesn't do what it's supposed to do. Whatever, though. Uh, okay, so, I mean, this floor's been pretty okay so far. I don't really want to spend money on that. 
I guess we'll make our way over here. I do want to save rerolls for, you know, deal with the devil, boss, etc., etc. We don't really need to, well, we, we can't buy anything, but we don't really need to buy anything either. Uh, but I guess we will because we're at the end of the floor. We've basically gone through everything, so is there a situation where I would rather reroll anything but infest? Yeah, you know, infestation is not awful. So if there's like a really awful item from this boss, and it, actually this changes things quite substantially, uh, because now if there's just like an okay item or an active item from this boss, we definitely want to reroll it because it's the Fallen, it could turn out with something amazing. So we'll probably, unless the Fallen gives us a good item here, we'll probably end up rolling with Infestation. Fallen's always a little bit of a tricky beast because you don't necessarily wanna, if you get like an okay deal with the Devil item, you don't wanna re-roll it and maybe get something that's pretty bad. Like, like nine lives would obviously not really fit into our plan right here. Uh, but, you know, the, the more you re-roll or the more aggressive you are with your re-rolls, the better your chances of getting something truly amazing. But we'll see. Uh, I would settle for, you know, something in the vicinity of like an ability to fly or something like that. Obviously those are incredible items. Please, one of you, yes, thank you for the death that you have bestowed upon me. And we're gonna finish this only getting hit once, which is pretty good. Guppy's head is not good enough, I think, and it's an active item, so that's an easy decision. We re-roll it, we get the nail. The nail is also an active item, so we'll be sticking with the D6. And we'll be taking infestation with this as well. Well, okay. So now, I mean, you know, Captain Obvious, it would have been great if I had taken uh, Guppy's tail. We have the keys necessary for it now too, but uh, you know, I, I made my bed, now it's time to lie in it. Infestation unfortunately does not count as a Guppy item, and it's down to the next floor. We went to both secret rooms, did we not? Did we? Did we not? I think, oh yeah, the matchstick was in the other secret room, I thought. Unless that was in the mob trap room and I'm just an idiot, but I think it was in the, the secret room. Anyway, uh, you know, the longer that we go on here without kind of getting any major advantages, the harder this gets. There's definitely an argument to be made for the fact that, uh, you know, maybe the... Seriously, Fly, you're not gonna be able to kill him. Um, there's an argument to be made for the fact that maybe the nail is a better thing to keep than the D6, but I think I would have more fun keeping the D6, and there's still a very good chance that it could end up giving us, a, like, immeasurable benefits, so... Let's just get the hell out of here and see what we've got. Ah, uh, spider bite! I'm not gonna reroll it. Spider bite's a great item. Like, a sincerely a very, very great item. This sucks though, I left and the champion isn't here anymore, so I won't get a free consumable. And, you know, as far as champions go, a champion silkworm functions basically the same as a regular silkworm. I think they just sometimes have more health. Maybe their speed is slightly altered. Oh, this is great, so maybe I was hoping for small rock, but I'll take it. We got a spirit heart, which is good because we're gonna lose it. Uh, by going into the curse room, but we picked up two spirit hearts in the curse room, so that's good too. All right, so far so good here. Uh, I'm gonna just immediately go into the left room here, just in case this ends up being item room or shop. That saves us a little bit of like one third of a reroll charge potentially. Yeah, you know what? I will open this up. That was a bad decision, and I'll probably go through and fight the. Actually, you know what? I, I am going to go through and fight the rest of the room, just for more consumables. I was thinking maybe I'll walk out and then I could use this as like another reroll generator, but I don't think I can actually cause this room to generate more rerolls uh, now that I've already triggered the enemies to come out. I think they would just not respawn again. So I might as well like go through all the enemies here and see if maybe they drop a, a key or a bomb or something like that. It ended up being a bad decision because I've lost a, a whole spirit heart on this room, but I shouldn't have. So that's me being an idiot. And hey, that actually worked out for us. We picked up six cents pretty good, the Haley Joel Osment number. That is one hell of a rare champion to show up. No need to post it on the Binding of Isaac subreddit, though. Uh, murder it. Whoa, my god, it's like polyphemus shots. Stay the hell away from those. Please, thank you for the death there. You're dead, and because I... Uh, maybe that was gonna end up there anyway, but I think the bomb showed up there because I blew him up too close to the edge. Alright, this is why having the ability to fly would make me substantially happier. Uh, this room is gonna be a fucking nightmare. But if we get lucky, we just gotta... The faster you blow one up, the, the easier this whole shebang becomes here. Shebang! Sh okay. Another key. Well, you know, I'm still happy we did the bombs or key trade a little earlier. We are definitely gonna get all this money. I expect we're gonna fight greed, because doesn't that just seem like a good setup? It's like Tarantino-esque. Room full of money just before a greed fight. Yeah, that was... The writing was on the wall there. I don't want to sound like I'm Nostradamus here. It was just a... It seemed like a pretty easy setup to me. 
All right, greed heads suck in this situation because they actually block us from getting uh, greed like completely chain fucked. Uh, chain slowed is the industry term. Uh, just back it up a little bit. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, you created some more. I didn't even know that was. I really almost dodged that. I promise you. This is gonna be an annoying fight. Yeah, you, you can basically tell that just from the get go, can't you? Oh, this is good. All right, that bomb. Big difference. Just go crazy on him. And it, the spirit arts are irrelevant. We're not gonna have them in two floors anyway. Okay. Now, kill the greed head. Okay, that was pretty, pretty awful. Uh, obviously, we know where our item room has to be, but since we've already gone this far, I might as well just use my reroll on the boss room now. We've wasted like half of them. And, you know, this is almost an. And I say almost because it would be great to get something else, but this is almost the ideal way to get uh, cubes of meat, in my opinion. There's pestilence on the second floor. It's still a very easy boss fight, and. Um, you know, you do need an orbital. We're reasonably offensively powerful, so we could use some defensive upgrades. Uh, we might snag a deal with the devil here. I don't know what the value proposition would have to be for me to go for it. it well, let's put it this way, it would have to be really good. Uh, maybe a mom's knife. Mm, I'm not sure brimstone works with spider bites, so I'd be like throwing it away, but it's all irrelevant anyway because we didn't earn it. And you know what? We probably didn't deserve it to begin with. So. Let us, uh, might as well shoot this, see if there's any money in there. Kind of bad luck on shops, with the exception of the matchstick so far. By the way, matchstick doing a great job of, uh, not really making it easy for me to get bombs, which is weird. Probably only two or three rooms left on this floor, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting we'll probably only have one reroll. That will factor pretty heavily into my decision of, of whether or not to reroll this item, I think. Depends on what it is. It's all situational, of course, with the D6. Ooh, please drop, um... Please drop bombs. Ah, whatever. Okay. Inside of here, we have Lemon Mishap. Well, it didn't factor into my decision at all, because Lemon Mishap is an auto reroll. And I'll take Tough Love. I think Tough Love is, is adequate. Uh, bumps up our damage just a little bit. Main problem with our run right now, we're not firing fast enough. Like, increased rate of fire would be cool. Uh, and we, we don't have enough HP, so we need to make that work. Still theoretically possible for us to become guppy, although unlikely and maybe even inadvisable because we need to pick up nine lives. There's a free HP upgrade. All right, so in here, we play the shit out of the fortune teller. Why do we play the shit out of the fortune teller? The spirit hearts will protect us so we can play the blood bank and get our money back, uh, but also they can give us a better trinket and we could use that trinket to uh, take with us for the end of the game. Uh, Child's heart is not really that good. Uh, two of spades kind of is though. I'll just, I'm just gonna pop it to a spades right away. Ten keys is fine with me. All right, so 15 cents is the magic number. It's where we want to stay. Uh, and we take Child's Heart and we go play the shit out of this. And we, we don't forget the Eternal Heart on, like, last episode. Hey, it all worked out in our favor. Okay, and we can play the Fortune Teller another two times, I think. Like, sincerely, I really want to play the Fortune Teller a little bit more. We can now get that bomb by way of the Hanged Man, because, yeah, you know what? Lucky Toe is probably better than uh, Child's Heart. So, Matchstick and Lucky Toe. I, I Lucky Toe, I don't really know how it works, to be honest with you, but it, I think it improves our luck. It's what it sounds like, and if it improves our luck, that means it improves uh, the amount of, or the frequency with which we fire teeth, if I remember correctly. So, I think that's pretty good. So, the speed plus HP upgrade is obviously the biggest part there. Basically got a bomb for the price of a cent and, the, you know, the opportunity cost on the card. And we got two HP upgrades on that floor, all in, like, the final three rooms, so that's pretty nice. Now, we are a Necropolis one. This is where shit gets real to a, a large extent. Uh, why don't we check out our curse room up here? Two more spirit hearts. Beautiful. Um, now, uh, what we probably want to do as soon as we get a reroll is start using this, uh, this secret room as... Oh, I forgot I can't fly for good. Yeah. Um, start using the secret room as like a portal, just because it can save us a key and, and grant us access to maybe shop or item room, but given the floor that we're on, it's pretty unlikely. It seems like it's the secret room is pretty centrally located. That's okay, though. Uh, might as well shoot the fire in here. I think we, we should be more than strong enough to beat the boss on Necropolis 1. I obviously sincerely hope that it's not Blighted Ovum or Mask of Infamy, but we'll have some bombs, ideally, that we can make... Uh, make do with and ah, oh, that was real bad. Certainly uh, We're gonna be able to go to the shop Especially now that we have more money and the more bombs we get the more the, the better things are because I I am starting to think now that you know Mask of Infamy or Blighted Ovum is a genuine possibility 
Uh, golden chest. Well, it was a good golden chest. It paid for itself. Any golden chest that pays for itself is a good golden chest. Doesn't necessarily have to have HP upgrades coming out of its asshole. There's our second secret room. Another eternal heart would be uh, thrilling at this point. I think that's basically the best thing that you can get from a second secret room beyond a trinket like Maggie's Faith that gives you like 12 uh, spirit, or not spirit hearts, eternal hearts. Anyway, uh, another key. Fantastic. Might as well check this out first. Chocolate milk. The best item I never pick up. Uh, yeah, you know what? We will pick up little, ch uh, little Chubby. Little Chubby's a pretty okay damage upgrade, as long as you're aiming it effectively. Probably will not encounter an arcade here, which is frustrating because we could play the fuck out of it. Anyway, item room's done. Uh, we got Little Chubby. Little Chubby does- it's like having one, like, miniature brimstone, basically. It's pretty good. It's not gonna win the game for us, probably, but it, it's suitable. Sizable. It's- it's decent. I did- I, does Little Chubby scale with damage? Because if so, that would be uh, a really nice feature to have. Uh, if you could have like a little chubby that just did function like a like maximum range mom's knife. Uh, once per room or you know once per like 12 seconds or something. That'd be pretty cool. Anyway, let's check downwards. Uh, there's a chance that we'll find shop or our boss room down here. Right now little chubby's not doing quite as much damage as I thought he would do. I think I, I've overrated him maybe slightly because the vast majority of the times that I get him it seems to happen like really early on. And then you're like, wow, he's killing spiders in one hit. And you're like, well, that's not really that much of a, a feat of strength, in all honesty. Okay. So, so far so good. We're certainly not at, you know, like, skull-fucking planet Earth levels of, of damage yet. But we're, we're doing okay. I always forget, like, where do you put the bomb to swing this one? If I only get two cents, so be it. That's all right. Ah, if I get zero, that kind of sucks, though. And, okay, well, we got another bomb. One bomb for four cents is a pretty okay trade. And we have rerolls available, so we might as well go see what's in our uh, boss room here. Okay, so it's the bloat, which honestly is not so bad. Not so great either, but uh, could certainly be worse. And a slowed bloat is uh, almost a little bit of a disadvantage, to be honest with you. We're lucky in that we can still hit him with a uh, little chubby here. Uh, but a slowed bloat is kind of a disadvantage because he doesn't jump as far. It's advantageous in some situations, disadvantageous in others. Uh, it fucks up your rhythm, I guess, is the, the big one. In fact, he's, like, not moving at all, which is this scary part here. Uh, oh, we're still good. No worries. Thank you for jumping there. That actually saved me a good deal of stress. I probably should have taken damage there. Got very lucky not to. There we go. That was a, a good hit. All right, this is a very tactical uh, bloat fight here. Just play it cool-ish. And now I can take another deal with the devil if uh, if one's nice enough to show up. And it has a decent value proposition. Ah, he took damage there at, right at the very end. Not a huge deal. Demon Baby Brimstone. Demon Baby Brimstone. Say that five times fast. Demon Baby Brimstone. Demon Baby Brimstone. Commenters will have your ass. Uh, I don't know why I rerolled that to get like nine lives. We could maybe become guppy, but it seems dumb. Hey, Northern Line, did you know you picked up Brimstone there? Yes, yes I did. I think it's... Again, desperate times call for desperate measures. I think this is one of the few ways that we uh, we find ourselves in a winning position. So yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Sue me. If you think this is a one run, you are a you're a silly goose, is what you are, because we are in uh, dire straits here. W with 38 cents, we really are getting money for nothing. But beating mom ain't gonna come for free. Well, you know, it probably will because we may end up fighting like greed or something in these shops. But you get what I'm saying. You get the the, the faux artistry involved. And you know what? Brimstone's not even doing very much damage for us right now. I'm not sure if that's because we didn't have very much damage to begin with, or maybe I have some kind of modifier that makes us do that. I don't, who knows, man. Uh, so basically, I shouldn't have picked up Tough Love, but I don't even think we had opportunities to reroll it. The range upgrade is like the easiest reroll of all time. And what do we need? Just HP upgrade, basically. Uh, and there we go. So that's that's sorted, and now we can use rerolls for the shop if we find it, and I hope we do very quickly. If not, if, what do I want from the shop? Blue Candle wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, even though I know Brimstone Blue Candle is like sacrilege and it shows up all the time and people hate it. It's it's a great combination. Uh, but barring that, Compass, absolutely, there's our shop. Good uh, instincts to go there. Uh, compass, map's pretty much worthless. Compass, though, would be uh, quite nice. 
Map's not, oh, there we go. Sure, sorted. <laughs> Map's not worthless, I should say. It's, it's just not that useful. Um, or worthful to keep things on the same level here. That was really poor of me. So we've gotten very lucky with HP upgrades so far. I've thrown a couple of them away. I still would, I'm, I'm glad I picked up the mark. I don't think that was a terrible decision. Hmm. All right, so we'll just kill the zombies. And we have nine of each of the consumables, which is pretty good. I don't even think there's much point to going to like the rest of the floors, or yeah, why bother, right? Uh, we've already even seen the secret room, so. Ah, uh, you know, I'll do it just in case there's like tinted rocks or something like that. There's probably only, there's only two rooms remaining, I think, unless I'm, I'm crazy here. And that was a, a very easy one. Maybe we get an HP upgrade here. Range down. Well, if you're gonna get a downgrade, that's, uh, that's the one you wanna get right now. Now, there is a spirit heart available, so after I kind of get a little funky, I can check out the rest of the... Ah, this is the worst! Okay. So I'm glad I didn't pick up the spirit heart, but we can get a little bit aggressive on this blood bank. Uh, bomb for a key. Bomb, that's not necessary yet. So obviously we're hoping this is going to play pay out with the blood bank. Or blood bag, sorry. Uh, it didn't, but it paid out with the IV bag. And we can re-roll into Peeper's Eye, which is you know, objectively a passive item that does damage, which is saying something. So, uh, oh, we had so many, like, free I, free red hearts on that blood bank, as, or not the blood bank, the second secret room as well. That would have been awesome if it had just lasted a little bit longer. But now we know, I don't even need that spirit heart yet. Uh, now we know that uh, all blood banks will pay out with blood bags if we just play them long enough, so that's a good thing to know. I'm glad we went through with that. We got Peeper's Eye for free. So, we can see everything question is, can we get there reliably quickly? And the answer so far is no. But there's our second secret room. Uh, thank you. I will check it out. And it's a fortune teller. This is big. Why is this big? Uh, because, well, A, spirit hearts will allow us to play the blood bank way more comfortably. And they're going to pay out reasonably well, especially with lucky toe, I think. Uh, tarot cards, also useful, of course. But, mostly we're looking for that, like, one trinket that's really going to put us over the top. There's not very many of them in the game, but, uh... You know, Bloody Penny, for example, if we're going to go play the shit out of that blood bank, would be amazing. Uh, we, we have Temperance, which is, uh, you know, something that we're going to use on the blood bank to play it twice as... Or, you know, we'll play it twice as effectively, I think, is the, the way that I would express that. Gotta watch out. Eh, we don't even really need to watch out for the tick showing up, honestly. That's not that big of a deal here. And I'm kind of thinking we can play this fortune teller even a little bit more than I normally would because I imagine we're probably going to fight greed in our shops, but we'll see. Uh, Ace of Spades is very good. We might come back here and get that before we get the Polaroid. Uh, Maggie's Faith, though, so that's the one we want. And we'll get rid of the matchstick, I think, to make that happen. And we're at 15 cents, so this is where we want to be. All right, so now we want we do want to keep uh, like spirit hearts in the, in the fold here. There we go, we got some extra health. And we'll make our way to the blood bank right out the bat, and, you know, we're gonna kinda go crazy on this, obviously. If we manage to snag both, uh, blood bags, oh, the Hanged Man card could allow me to get an extra 10 cents. Uh, money's probably not gonna be worth too much for me, though, so I, I shouldn't get too excited about it, necessarily. Um, what was I going to say? I was gonna say that, uh, if we get both blood bags, this is, like, a huge benefit. Uh, for a number of, of fairly obvious reasons, I think. Mostly the HP, the speed is not... Nothing to sneeze at, of course, but, uh, yeah, there's one of them. Probably should have played the other one a little bit more before I used this, just because of the, you know, we got full health from it, basically. And we just keep this up. There's no extra fortune teller in here. Oh my god, we can go play that fortune teller again, like, a thousand times. This is big! Gambling is actually, like, such an unexpected, at least when you first start playing, an unexpectedly, like, super important way to succeed. Uh... So there's one HP upgrade, and mind you, we lost like all of our HP getting it, but that's okay. So we'll go back here to this fortune teller, and what do we have? We have Hanged Man, which could allow us to get the dime, but it's not that big of a deal. I like the I like our Lucky Toe Maggie's Faith combination, but I think I'm gonna switch it out for uh, Ace of Spades Maggie's Faith. Why is the why the Ace of Spades? Uh, because it is gonna allow us to get things like Joker cards and uh, you know Two of Hearts and. I even like two of spades, two of clubs are valuable right now. Mostly the Joker, though. Because now we're going to have HP again, in all likelihood. That'll make it plausible for us to succeed. So this is where we start. You know, we got the game by the arm a little bit, and we're going to twist it. We're going to try to tap it out UFC-style. 
because... Oh, I'm just doing a little Tokyo drifting here. Uh, because I am very confident that we'll be able to, if, if we do everything at our disposal, I'm very confident we'll be able to succeed here, hopefully. We'll see, though. Um, all right, Judas Tongue is also pretty good, but we, we only have maximum one deal with the Devil remaining, so I don't think it's that important. Great combination with uh, Ace of Spades from like the start of the game, though, if you can swing it. Uh, Wheel of Fortune. So, Wheel of Fortune is not, like, particularly great. Uh, what was the card? This is another Devil card. Uh, and I fucked up my trinkets again. Just, like, okay, Mom's Pearl doesn't work, apparently. Like, I saw that on the Binding of Isaac subreddit. That it, uh, like, mathematically d does not work. Well, I'll die one day. I'm feeling like I'm dying a little bit right now. Even if you just pay out with the Crystal Ball, that would be nice. Can you even pay out with the... Yeah, I think... Whatever. Uh, death card. I'm just gonna start clearing out like some of these cards. Like I know that this is like a supreme waste, but it's also gonna simplify the board just a little bit. Hanged man. I realize this card is worth ten cents, but I don't care really. So we have matchstick, Judas tongue, pushpin, Maggie's faith, Mom's pearl. Um, there's a ace of. Sp That's not what I wanted. Two of clubs. We'll just use right away to get up to twenty bombs. Uh, Devil card might be the one that we want to take out of here. I can't believe we haven't earned, uh, more good trinkets, but whatever. We got three more plays here, and then we'll start moving on. Luckily, I am, like, flush enough on Spirit Hearts to not have to worry about my overall health situation, but I would have liked to have gotten more Red Hearts at some point, but I guess that'll all come in time. And these are the trinkets that we want, I think, so... Maggie's Faith and Ace of Spades. So, again, let's get our brain re-calibrated uh, for actually getting involved in some combat here. Looks like our item room is going to be, like, right over here, so that should be an easy get. And the secret room is right here as well. Uh, so what does the secret room contain? Just more money. Not unexpected. Our curse room contains two spirit hearts. That is exceptionally lucky, and that's been the outcome that we've been getting a lot, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, good, another key. We're gonna waste one right here, or use one. Hopefully not waste one. And all of our, like, important rooms are kind of in the general area over here. Odd Mushroom, easy pickup. Extra damage, lower speed, extra health as well. No reroll necessary, so we'll just make our way to the shop. Uh, that took longer to kill him than expected. Is that a Telepills? No, I think it's a new pill. Or bombs. that's Bombs are Key. That's Bombs are Key. Uh, so I think I'm gonna take it, honestly. I know that seems crazy because we don't have Guppy's tail. I just want to make sure that I'm like 100% good to go from a key standpoint. So we'll come through here. Okay. Uh, don't let the green nub fire if possible. And life will be easier for you. There we go. Okay. And our secret room. I knew it! It's actually our second super greed, which is kind of like... I'm, o I'm okay to feel a little bit shitty about that, right? Like... Two greeds is one thing, a greed and a super greed, fair play, but two super greeds is real annoying. But the quarter is, uh, do we know what this is? No, let's take it, full health. Hey, health up, that's maybe even better in the long run, but anyway, uh, we're re-rolling the shit out of the quarter for sure. The ladder, not good enough yet. It's our last re-roll pedestal, so we might as well, uh, you know, get going here. Uh, well, I could pick up the ladder and then get a free heart out of it, but that's kind of silly, isn't it? Oh, come on, I really wanted to go play the blood bank a little bit more. Okay, okay, we're gonna look for our second uh, tinted rock. Or, we're gonna go look for our second. Uh, uh, the, the, the sec Wait, what am I talking about here? What is wrong with my brain? My second secret room. That is a lot in there. Um, I need. I'm gonna use the world card like right away. There's no real reason behind it beyond that I wanted to take the devil card with me, and I already have the compass, so the world card is not crazy valuable. Come on, judgment. Just an HP upgrade is fine. I, I could content myself with that, or find myself content with that. There we go. Good enough. We're only going to get one more reroll anyway. Uh, and, you know, do we want to use it on the ladder or whatever Mom gives us? It's possible that the ladder will be better than what Mom gives us, uh, but I would rather use it on the ladder nonetheless, because we can't leave the Mom fight after we go in, so... Unless we leave it in a body bag, so... It might be in our best interest to just reroll the ladder and then hope that Mom gives us, like, an HP upgrade. Which is fairly, you know, plausible, as you might expect. Oh, Tomo, what's wrong, man? It's okay, you don't need to squeal like that. Sorry, this is our our new kitten. I thought you were asleep, buddy. You, sh 
You should go back into the... Go back into your bed. He's like, why did you take the mark? You should have taken... You should have become Guppy. It would have been so easy. Why did I get adopted into a family that doesn't understand how to min-max the binding? It's okay, Tomo. Oh, he's like watching the screen right now. Like, what is going on over here? Uh, anyway, I'll try not to let that distract me. I'll maybe have to get up in a second and put him back in the area. But, uh, whoop, okay. Not that area, you sickos. Uh, well, you know what? I should go back here. I realize I just sacrificed like a bunch of flies for no reason. But I should go back here and maybe play the blood bank another couple of times. I think that's not the worst idea. Ah, oh, come on. This is like a pretty important one. So, you know, we are going to hopefully earn some extra hearts out of this. Bloody Penny, if Bloody Penny had just dropped, like, that would have been amazing. And it's not out of the realm of possibility at all. We, we played the Fortune Teller so many times, I would have expected it to have been at least plausible. Uh, well, we can get some more hearts here, maybe. Come on, come on. Ah, no, that was a big miss. Okay, well, you know what? We've already been to the shop, so we can actually spend all of our money here. I don't think that would be the worst idea. And the hoe, there we go. Not the hoe, the hearts that we can get here, pretty important. Well, more money, okay, that's more hearts potentially. There's an HP upgrade in there, just waiting to be gotten. Full health, full health. Luck up, that's good, I think. I never know. It's all bullshit, man. It's all bullshit. Uh, sure, more money. Good thing I didn't get Bloody Penny, or this would have been far too quick and easy. There we go, that's four more plays. And another new pill, that's a telepills. You gotta pay out. That's, oh, well, it's even more money, so, you know, if you're the kind of person who hates when these runs hit, like, the depths, and then it takes a hundred years for them to finish, I'd sincerely apologize. Uh, but prepare yourself, because that's the situation we find ourselves in here. I'm not doing enough damage that I can feel confident in not doing this. Believe you me, I'm the, the, the biggest person out there that would love to just be like, wow, fuck everything about, like, taking forever here. Um, unfortunately, I don't really have a choice in the matter right now. So... Hopefully we will snag a heart here. I didn't even see what showed up. <sighs> I could start throwing away spirit hearts, but it seems real risky. Maybe I'll do like one spirit heart. Uh, don't give me fly love. Don't give me fly love. Ah, he gave me fly love. Um, I'll take fly love. I would rather reroll the ladder still, even though I know that seems like super silly and weird. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll go until I can see my spirit hearts start to fall away. That hasn't happened yet, thankfully. There we go. And one more, because I said that was the one I was prepared to give away. Uh, fuck everything. Okay, well, um... I guess we'll just get ready to go, then. We're actually in a little bit scarier of a, of a position than we need to be. I got very lucky to not get hit there. Uh, yeah, we'll come down here and we'll reroll the ladder. Why, why take Fly Love over the ladder? Mostly, uh, in, in case we come across, like, a ton of bomb flies. Like, slow bomb flies is actually a pretty nice advantage to have. And I'm hoping that we get the ability to fly later anyway. So I would have much rather picked up the, uh, well, I might as well pick up Notched Axe. I would have much rather have picked up the, um, the ladder and re-rolled whatever Mom gave us than picked up Notched Axe. That's for fucking sure. But, oh well. All we need, all we really need for me to feel pretty confident about this run is, uh, some way to get all of our red hearts back, and if that happens either over time or via an item, uh, then sure, I, I feel pretty good about the, the whole run as a, as, as a whole, I guess. Um, I must feel weird when I say, like, as a whole, and I'm not talking about as a, like a, a human orifice. Anyway, so, uh, principal problems right now. More damage would be just peachy, uh, but it would be nice to have the ability to fly as well. That's one of the most glaring omissions in our run right now is uh, lack of defensive ability to fly. Range upgrade is obviously not what I wanted, uh, but you know we're gonna get HP upgrades by way of Maggie's faith as long as I can keep these spirit hearts alive. So let's do it. I did take the Polaroid. Holy shit! I actually like found myself in a situation for a second being like I don't think I did. Now the curse room is obviously very tempting, but unfortunately it's also. Uh, <laughs> very difficult for me to sell myself on because I would actually lose all of my spirit hearts and thus prob- ooh, poison touch, or sorry, uh, common cold. And thus probably find myself in a position where I'm losing my eternal heart, which is, uh, scary. Getting poison damage is awesome. I'm pretty fucking psyched for that. Now what would actually change my philosophy here is if, uh, this second secret room has a, uh, eternal heart in it, 
which it does, then we just complete our HP, but I'd still lose like a lot by going to that curse room. If I could just get back to full health, I'd feel a little bit better about it. I mean, it's not like we're skipping out on a free item. We're skipping out on the chance of a free item, which, you know, I, I would love, but still. Red hearts, please. Give me some re Okay. Well, we already snagged an HP upgrade, so that's a pretty good turnout for this floor. And you know what? At this point, since we don't even have red hearts, a uh, deal with the devil wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, because we're basically trading away health we don't have. We just have the capacity for. It's like trading somebody a large wallet and telling them, imagine what it'll be like when it's full. Uh, so if you could just die, that'd be good. Poison damage, huge get for us. We're gonna get a second level cube of meat, which is not the worst uh, item for us to get here. I'm pretty okay with it. And, you know, slowing and poison brimstone shots, pretty strong. It's just the actual, like, health that our shots take away, which is not quite where I want it to be right now. But, uh, death is a relatively easy boss fight for this point in the game. Feeling pretty good about that whole thing. Kind of getting hemmed in here. Yeah, I deserve to take damage there, in all honesty. And I'm, I'm in a very bad position health-wise. Probably will not be able to get another, uh, Maggie's Faith. Uh, Eternal Heart to the end of the, the level here. We'll try, obviously. Uh, why, why even go this way? What, you know what I was thinking going this way? Well, I, I got very lucky to find the secret room and maybe be justified. Throw liver or something's in there. Uh, but, I was thinking, oh, we'll come up to the arcade and gamble. And that's actually not that terrible of an idea, so... Let's begin our, uh, gambling odyssey again. Maybe a fortune teller? Yeah, okay, that's, that's good. So we have the best of both worlds here. We can't play the Blood Bank. That sucks, but, uh... Well, you might be saying, why can't we play the Blood Bank? We can't play the Blood Bank because it uh, will take our Eternal Heart first, which is obviously not what we want or need. So, every Spirit Heart is, like, exceptionally useful here. Crystal Ball would be a nice get, at least temporarily. Fish Head is not quite what we need. It is the same effect as Infestation, I think. Mulligan is, like, heads and tails above it. Unfortunately, we don't have Mulligan. Uh, you know, fortunately, I have been getting hit a lot, and that's allowing my flies to do more damage. So, the more Spirit Hearts we get, the better our chances of success. The more Red Hearts we get, the better our chances of success as well. Like, we're still working on this deficit from, uh... When I was playing the shit out of the Blood Bank earlier. I, I really just expected to get the Blood Bag and then go back to nearly full health, but... Not quite. There's a huge clusterfuck of trinkets in here that I really would prefer not to deal with, if possible. And, sure, Spirit Heart's making it good. Like, I, I really don't think I want to fuck with my trinkets at all. Not just because of the context of the trinkets that we have down there. I just think, like, our, our trinket situation's fine. Polaroid Maggie's Faith is... I mean... Oh. Okay, one second. The, the way that it becomes unideal... We can do this. The way that it becomes unideal is if we uh, go to the final floor, then Maggie's Faith is worthless. But apart from that... It's, uh, fairly useful. And very useful, in fact. Especially now that we have Spirit Hearts and we can protect our HP upgrades. But we need to get back to full HP in order to make something of these. Well, if we're gonna walk through, like, all these, we might as well pick up the Tarot card. It's the Hermit. That's fucking worthless. Okay. Uh, we want Maggie's Faith and the Polaroid. Might as well wait until we're out of the fucking woodwork here, though. No need to use Temperance, unfortunately. I would love to, but it's just... There's no point. It's actually detrimental, so... There's something to be said, now that we have two blood banks, we can put down Temperance, lose the Eternal Heart, but po possibly gain two HP upgrades, plus speed upgrades, plus the, uh, well, there we go. Uh, plus the blood bag, but... It's so risky, and if it doesn't work out, we just lose. Maybe if I get more HP, I'll feel better about doing that, but, uh, for now, no thank you. Alright, so we've done, we've done this, that's fine. If we get a ton of HP, it might be best to, ah, oh, if we get a ton of HP, then we don't really need the HP upgrades. HP upgrades extremely valuable in the early game. They become about as value, like their value hues closer to just the value of like an average red heart as time goes on. Uh, so I'm not really that psyched about getting HP upgrades at this point. Oh, that was really stupid. Uh, about getting HP upgrades at this point in the run. Uh, I would much rather just be at full health and get like two more HP upgrades. But the thing that's giving me pause here is that, of course, playing the Blood Banks would allow me to possibly get back to full HP by getting the Blood Bags, but, you know, it's it's not a guarantee. Let's take a little damage there. Can't afford to take too much more. Another Red Heart. It's pretty valuable. So I'll take that. And... Sure, that if I can kill all those guys right off the bat. Like, the, the Brimstone Little Chub right off the bat is a nice combination, because my Brimstone is typically not doing quite enough damage. 
Oh, I'm sorry, Judgment. That would have been great. Oh well, we're gonna we're gonna leave the floor uh, by fighting Mom's heart and not getting hit and not getting hit. We can get hit once. That's it, though. Uh, that was a weird spawn, and I blame Mom entirely for that one. We'll keep this up. The slow is more or less worthless, but the poison uh, on Mom's heart, I should say, but the poison damage is off the fucking chain. So we take out the Larry J's. Uh, we take out the Zambros, and now Duke of Flies? No, okay, these guys, then Duke of Flies, and we won't have to deal with Chubb. That's a very good position to be in. Alright, Duke of Flies. You died like a... well, you live like a fly, you die like a fly. Why, what's the matter? Duke of Flies? You couldn't be like the Emperor of Flies or something? What's the matter? More like a Count of Flies, if you ask me. Finally, now that I've played Crusader Kings, I understand what those, uh, titles actually mean. Okay. So we found our second secret room right off the bat. Big deal. Not really. Burnt Penny. Isaac fight is, uh, is a fight that I expect is going to be kind of difficult. The good news is, you know, if, if we manage to make it through it, and it, it probably will be a war of attrition, uh, but if we manage to make it through it, got an awful lot of... Uh, awful lot of keys that I can use on the chest to make some good stuff happen. And I'm not doing enough damage relative to where I normally am to feel super confident about this. I think I brim snapped by accident there. You you have my full apology. Uh, small rock would be real nice here for your small rock. Small rock, maybe? You could potentially give me a small rock if you're interested. Alright. Probably unnecessary. Uh, I harbor no, uh, no designs about this eternal heart lasting until uh, the chest. If it does, that would be amazing. Like, I would literally be amazed, but I don't see it happening. You might be saying, well, if you don't see the Eternal Heart lasting, why don't you just uh, use your Temperance card and play the Blood Bank? Because if we play it four times and I don't get any uh, Blood Bag out of it, then that's like the end of my existence. So, uh, oh, there goes the Eternal Heart, as expected. Um, not the end of the world. Get the, the flies. Could you do some damage, please? Okay, this is going to be a tight fight. I think we might actually die right here. I'm just not- the brimstone shots aren't doing enough damage. And I'm not dodging as effectively as I need to be. I will get a very brief permanent Polaroid invincibility. All too brief, really. Ooh, it's okay. Every time I take damage, we summon some flies that do a decent amount of damage. The poison damage adds up over time. Oh, I didn't get hit there. Thank you. The one orbital that I have actually doing a pretty good job. Alright, so we're about to enter third phase of Isaac. Poison damage should carry him over that threat. Oh, no, close. Should be carried over that threshold pretty soon. The slow is saving my life on these, uh, like, homing purple shots. Wow, he was not even close to the third form of Isaac. Oh, there we go. Okay, drop a bomb in the middle. More flies. Brimstone doesn't affect the bombs, which actually makes it much easier to hit him. Those shots, like, curled backwards. You are wanted in the MLB for crimes against physics. Okay, every shot is like 2% of his total health. So we'll stand still, keep it up, poison the shit out of him, and he'll be dead. Hey, there we go. Okay, so we lived. That's good. Now, anything can happen on the chest. Thank you, Eternal Heart. That's uh, You're very welcome. Uh, so bad, bad. Pretty okay. Uh, pretty bad. Uh, so we pick up this. We pick up this. Uh, we can't keep Book of, Book of Belial, because it's much more valuable for us to just re-roll, uh, everything. And we need the D6 to re-roll, so unfortunately we have to re-roll all of it. Forget me now, that's a funny joke. Uh, you know, PhD is actually exceptionally valuable here. Because it gives you a little bit of extra HP, so that might keep us alive long enough to re-roll these other three items. Sacrificial Dagger, not terrible. Um, Homing Bombs, not awful, just, like, really sincerely not what we need. Uh, so, and, and we need a very narrow kind of suite of items here. So, uh, the PhD is a good pickup. If, if we end up getting pills, even better, right? But, um, mostly it was just like, hey, an extra two and a half hearts that might keep me alive for another couple rooms on the chest long enough to get a D6 available and reroll the other three items. It's like getting a snack just before dinner. You might say, hey, you're gonna ruin your dinner, but, you know, maybe you're just super hungry. So, there's one third of a D6 reroll. Uh, Gluttony has to die last here. Wouldn't end the run if he didn't. Probably would put me in a pretty nasty spot. That's bad damage to take. Could be worse. May get worse. 
Peeper's eye, don't fuck up my day here, please. I've got a, I've got a rhythm going. I, I hit gluttony right off the bat first like an idiot, so... Greed... Okay, good. So we will get some HP here. That was actually very close. And that more than compensates us for the eternal heart that we lost. So, the, the real, like, moment of truth comes from whether or not we decide to continue trying to farm rerolls or if we just go straight to the boss fight. And that's largely going to depend on what we end up getting back from our reroll room up here. So, just run away from that. Alright, this is big. Game Kid is, is kind of huge. Because I can pick this up and then just walk into like this room and then get a bunch of extra HP back. I got hit already? And of course when I said a bunch of HP, what I really meant by that is uh, like literally zero. Um, I don't have to fight the rest of this room, but I think I'm gonna because it, it, it's easy enough. Uh, but I could just walk into the secret room, get the unicorn horn, and then walk back in or something like that. But that's, that's kind of silly. I just want the consumable now. And Oh, we got a red heart out of it as well. And some bombs. So, I mean, it's a genuinely tough question here. I, I think I'm going to try to fight Blue Baby with the unicorn horn in the uh, ballroom. Uh, so I'll get like a pretty good period of invincibility. Five hearts means I can only get hit four times. I would love to be at a half heart interval, but so be it. Can we place bombs? Oh, well, we've still got one more room to go through here too, so I should... Oh, this is good. That's it. Gluttony killed the shit out of greed. That was great. Um, okay, don't, no, no, don't, 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 don't kill Gluttony by accident. Thank you, and now kill Gluttony on purpose. More health, more health. Half heart interval. Uh, no, but that's still very good. Okay, this might actually fucking work now, which is real silly, but okay. All right, unicorn horn. Please generate flies as the unicorn horn's going. So what was that like? 15% of his health. That might end up making the difference, I swear to you. Every time I get hit, have to drop a bomb. Peeper's eye, little chub. Drop the bomb. Okay, there we go. Get the flies in range. Drop the bomb. Only been hit twice. Pretty reasonable. Oh, that's a good bomb. He's halfway done. I'm halfway done. Very scary. Richard scary. Matthew Perry, I don't know what to say. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is good. Um, he's on the third phase. I think we're actually going to pull this one out. Wow, Northern Lion, you said Brimstone wasn't an automatic victory, and then you won. Well, I'm sorry about that. I had to really pull out all the fucking stops to make this work. This was not like, hey, I made it lazily to the end. This is more like, hey, you know, I, I pulled some strings to kind of swing. And, and you know what? You know what I feel good about with this run? I took my shot. I saw Unicorn Horn and said, that's going to do it. And Unicorn Horn probably made all the difference here. Also, what made all the difference, that Gluttony. Uh, if Gluttony hadn't dropped two hearts, we wouldn't have made it. But we made it! So, you know, there's an example of the luck that sometimes makes the Binding of Isaac possible. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure to show your support by clicking the like button. And of course, as always, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more Isaac. And I'll see you next time.